Yeah, my name's Bo Anderson, and I'm a, I'm a horseshoe steer wrestler, and just travel around all the rodeos, rodeoing and shoeing people's horses for them. So a job like this keeps you pretty busy. Yeah. Uh, how much spare time would you get at a rodeo? Um, well, it just kind of depends how many horses come due at the rodeo. Um, a lot of times I do about two or three at a rodeo. Um, a weekend, probably, right around in there. Not much sitting around time. Usually when I'm sitting around, I'm not making any money, so. So this is maintenance, is it? That yeah. you're just doing right now? Yeah, this horse is due, due to be shot all the way around. How often would a horse need to be uh, shot? Uh, about every six to eight weeks, depending on their on their growth. But right around there, most horses are six to eight weeks. So do you put the same shoe back on? Uh, sometimes I can reset them. Uh, most of the time I just put new ones on. Uh, it's good to have good good grip, so it's you know it's just easy to put new ones on it is, as it is to put the old ones, clean them back up. So what's the reason for it then? For shoeing? Yeah. Uh, just to protect the horse's foot, mostly, and, and to get grip. Uh, some horses, you know, every horse is different with their feet, so, you know, stepping on rocks and whatnot, they can get bruised, so we put horseshoes on them. Does, is the hoof growing and that causing a problem as well, too, or no? Uh, well, there's, it's not causing a problem, but uh, the hoof is growing, and so that's that's why we do them. It's just like your fingernail, mm -hmm. you know, you clip them when they get long, and it's just like these horses, when they start to get long, they can overreach, they can slip, so you like to keep them shot up, and that way, if you know you're going going to catch a steer, you don't want your horse overreaching or slipping in the dirt. So you keep keep fresh shoes on. How long have you been around horses? Uh, my whole life. So you come from a, a horse family? Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm from Water Valley, and uh, my parents we've had horses like, most of my life and all of my dad's life. So. And I've been shooing now for probably about 11 years. So it's kind of what I took as my trade is shooing. And it takes a while to build a business up. And it's, you know, after 11 years, it's kind of know a little bit what I'm doing. There's always, always new stuff to learn, that's for sure. So where'd you go to school? Um, I uh, actually just learned from other, other farriers. Mm -hmm. So I kind of traveled around with other farriers for quite a while and learned to trade. And it's basically what I did. A lot of guys go to school, though. A lot of guys they wouldn't be able to do this themselves or, or do they try or uh, it's just not some, worth it? some guys do their own uh, I don't know sometimes it's not really worth it I guess some people don't want to be bent over the whole time so you already took the shoe off that one or yeah yeah the shoe was already oh, off okay. So is it dangerous at all, or most horses, they, they know what's going on? Um, most of these rodeo horses are pretty good to do because they're being ridden. They're, you know, they're rode down and they've been, you know, they're pretty much on a schedule. Um, you know, when you're out and just go to places like I do during the week, you know, and you get under young horses or horses that aren't, uh, aren't rode all the time, then yeah, it can be, it can be dangerous. You know, some horses aren't good with their feet. What do you mean not good with their feet? Uh, just always pulling on you or, you know, some horses might try to kick you with their back feet. Uh, just whatever, just don't, you know, no patience type deal. So you want to have a horse that's got lots of patience because you're, you know, you're underneath them for an hour. You don't want them to get, un, you know, impatient with you.
just it's kind of same old thing for me. It's go to the rodeos and try to win at the rodeos. If I don't win at the rodeos, then you usually see me out here shooing horses. Start winning, I might not have to shoe as much. Uh, I just do the steer wrestling. Steer. So how are you doing this year? Uh, it's, I've been doing lots of shoeing, let's put it that way. <laughs> oh. Oh. Today wasn't a good day for... I was a little muddy out today, yeah. but you know what? That's that's how it is sometimes. Sometimes you're in the rain and, and the mud, and sometimes it's not. Take the good with the bad, right? Okay, this is Shauna Easton. She's my helper. Um, well, she usually works in the oil feed oil field as a safety person, but uh, it's a little slow right now, so she's helping me shoot. Shoe's pretty wore out. It's been on for a while. So we'll put new ones on just so there's better traction. <laughs> 